a march organized by the Hong Kong Civil Human Rights Front begins in Kowloon. Now, even though this march and rally has been banned by the Hong Kong police, citing past incidents where marches organized by the same group have ended with violence, people have been out in full force for the better part of the afternoon. The march may be illegal, but it's peaceful, and no arrests are made, but not for long. First comes the graffiti and the vandalization. Some start destroying the sidewalk to stock up on bricks. The strategy is to use umbrellas to shield themselves from cameras. At times, protesters form a supply line, moving these umbrellas and other items like masks to the front lines. They build barricades on public streets. Some vandalize a government office. Some force open shops with links to the mainland. They also vandalize metro stations. And around 3 p.m., the targeted arson attacks begin. Some protesters start to surround the police station and throw petrol bombs over the fence. tear gas from the rooftop in an attempt to disperse the crowd. As usual, it's ineffective because the protesters are wearing gas masks and protective gear. Some even throw the canisters back at the police. Eventually, the water cannon comes out and the protesters run away. Sometimes it's laced with blue dye, a way, the police say, to identify suspects later. As the night sets in, the police are trying to round up some of the last protesters that are still out here on the streets from the earlier, more violent clashes this afternoon. Riot police clear the main streets, chasing black-clad protesters and making arrests. To avoid arrest, the protesters run away and change out of their black clothes on side streets and in alleyways. They return in their non-implicating outfits to taunt the police. The police remain until the main streets are cleared out, and all that's left is destruction, remnants of shops, restaurants, and banks targeted because of their links to the mainland.